with the hollow chest and the hollow chest design, how many conversations were there early on about the rules of the game? Was it just, let's just have something that looks really fun. And then if people want to piece something together, so be it. Well, I mean, it, it came about, uh, almost as an accident because Lucas, um, you know, we were doing the, the cantina, uh, masks and George, uh, realized that, you know, I did stop motion animation and that gave him the idea to do the chess set as, uh, a stop motion thing because Michael Crichton had just come out with Future World and did a holographic, uh, you know, kind of a chess set with knights and stuff with live actors. And George was going to do that with the cantina characters, masks and whatnot. Uh, but Crichton had kind of scooped him. So, uh, you know, he decided he wanted to do it with stop motion. And I mean, it was all done really quickly right at the end of the schedule, almost as an afterthought. Yeah. So there was no time to debate what is actually going on here. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, we, you know, he said, can you make uh, 10 space aliens, stop motion sp space aliens in a couple of weeks? And uh, John Berg and I did. And we brought them into the studio on a cardboard box. And Dennis Murin set up the cameras and the animation table. And George came in and he just kind of. You know, he asked him, so what, what do you want? And he just kind of improvised and just said, well, this little yellow guy hops in here and uh, this green guy picks him up and throws him on the ground here and all the other guys are watching. And that was the direction. I mean, I think some people actually, you know, prefer, you know, practical stuff because it gives you a different quality, different look, um, you know, than, you know, boilerplate CG stuff. And... You know, um, Fevro's reached out to me. We're going to be doing some stuff for the uh, the second season of um, Mandalorian, and then they want to do something for the third season once things adjust back to whatever they're going to adjust back to. Yeah. How does that feel when somebody reach out, reaches out to you to want to create more Star Wars content? Oh, it's fine. You know, I mean, i kind of been there, done that. You know, but, you know, a, the, a lot of the guys that I work with, you know, it's uh, it, it really exciting for them because that was they kind of missed the boat. They were, you know, uh, you know, kids when, you know, Star Wars and Robocop and all that stuff came out. And that's what they wanted to do is do practical stuff. But they missed that boat and, you know, became digital artists. And um, the Mad God Project, you know, gave them a opportunity uh, to, you know, work with me on doing, uh, photographic work and stop motion animation and such. And, uh, so, you know, with this Mandalorian stuff, there, the small group of people under a half dozen, but that are, you know, really interested in doing, you know, working. I have a, uh, a stage, uh, where I've been shooting Mad God. And so we've got like all the lights and all the equipment so we can just set up you know, anything we want anytime. So we're in the process of building some, you know, props for it right now. And in the next couple of months, we'll shoot. That's awesome. But it just feels like another day at the office for you. It just feels like more work. It doesn't, you don't have a tingle butterflies in your stomach when you're going back to the world of Star Wars. No, I really don't think about the past that much, you know, and um, I'm, I'm, you know, kind of like to move on. You know, I was like Star Wars. I was over with space aliens and, you know, RoboCop over with robots and Jurassic Park over with dinosaurs and Starship Troopers over with giant bugs. So, <laughs> you know, it starts to limit playing fields. MinMax is a Patreon about games, friends, and getting better. The deepest dive is the best, most thorough discussions about games on the internet. Prove us wrong, please. The MinMax Show podcast airs every Thursday. Patreon supporters vote on what we stream every single week and a whole lot more. Give us a shot. Try subscribing to the YouTube channel, and we hope we can win you over.